Hi guys, Chase E here with another video for Bite Size Success and in this video we're going to be talking about what exercise does to your subconscious. When we exercise we are introducing small amount of controlled stress into our body and into our brain. I say controlled stress because we're in complete control over the amount of stress our body and brain feel, right? We're in control of how many sets, reps that we do in the gym. Whereas, you know, out of control stress is like the election, the economy and things that we have zero control over. And so what's happening is when we're inviting this controlled stress into our brain and into our body, we're allowing our subconscious to build habits and systems that allow it to deal with that stress, right? We're inviting a small amount of stress in, our subconscious is able to develop habits and systems to deal with that stress. And those habits and systems that are developed allow us to deal with all the other stress that life decides to place upon us. So what's happening is that those who exercise live a much healthier, happier, and productive lifestyle because their subconscious, their minds, know how to deal with stress. The way that the majority of people live, the people who don't exercise, is they think they know how to deal with stress, but they actually don't. The mind doesn't know how to deal with that stress, and so instead of actually solving the problem, it numbifies the problem, right? Have you ever had a stress where you, you just had to go and eat ice cream or you had to play video games for a day, right? That's your mind not knowing how to process that stress. And so it defaults to just numbify it. It doesn't want you to feel it, so it wants to distract you with some other sort of pleasure, right? That's not dealing with the issue, that's just distracting you from the issue, which feels good in the moment, but what ends up happening is life gives you more stressors and those stressors like piece of paper pile up on your desk until they get big enough to become anxiety and then even then they'll grow big enough to become depression. And so it's really, really important for your lifestyle to develop the, the, your brain's capacity to deal with stress. And so that's where exercise comes into play because it allows your subconscious to do that. And you know, it's interesting, uh, David Goggins, who is arguably the toughest man alive, the guy's insane. And you know, the reason, you know, because people ask him, why do you do all this super hard stuff? Because he runs like hundreds and hundreds of miles. And they ask him, you know, why do you do it? Because he actually hates running. And he says that he exercises and works out extra hard because he's training his mind and his body to be prepared for something really bad to happen, to be able to deal with it, right? Like he specifically names off, you know, he's training physically for when he gets the call um, that his mom has passed away or when he gets a really bad, you know, the unfortunate call from the doctor that something's wrong or, you know, whatever it is. That's why he's training himself physically because he understands that exercising actually a allows your conscience to build these systems to be able to process stress. He calls it callousing your mind, right? It's training your mind how to deal with this stuff. Whereas if you don't train yourself physically, you don't have access to these abilities. And you know, it's actually, it's interesting. Also, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, um, you know, the other day he had an Instagram post where I guess he had a really rough day of filming at work and he, instead of going home, he actually went to the gym. He had already worked out for that day and you know he didn't have to go to the gym, but he still went to the gym because he had an extra stressful day because he knows that going to the gym and working out is helping him train his mind how to deal with that stress. You know, he gets it, David Goggins gets it, and you know, it's something that you can definitely apply into your own life. So. If you want to live a more productive, healthier, happy life, I highly recommend that you seek to push yourself physically. Because when you push yourself physically, when you're inviting this small amount of controlled stress into your life, you're allowing your subconscious to build up these systems and these habits to be able to deal with that stress and even the other stressors outside that life brings you. So when you work out, your subconscious builds systems to be able to deal with 
all the stress that you'll experience in life. And that's why typically the people who exercise are much healthier and happier. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful, insightful. If you found it useful, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment down below. And if you want more information like this, more content, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video.